friends, my name is Mrs. Swartz and this is Bella and I am so excited to be your teacher this year. I wanted to record a quick little video just to let you know how excited I am and also to read you a little good night story. So I'm going to put Bella down. She is a puppy. She's still learning. <laughs> oh. And the story I'm going to read for us tonight might be one you've heard before. It's called First Day Jitters. And this is a story about a character who's very, very nervous about the first day of school. She's not so sure what to expect, and she just doesn't want to go. So we're going to read this story and see how this character overcomes some of her jitters. First Day Jitters by Julie Dannenberg, illustrated by Judy Love. And I'll do my best to show you guys the pictures. First Day Jitters. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss your first day at your new school now, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and she pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hardwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I don't like my new school, Sarah said. She tumbled down to the end of her bed. How can you not like your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never even been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school. You'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. That's it. I don't know anybody. And it will be hard. And, and I just don't like it. That's all. What will everyone think if you weren't there? We told them you were coming. They will think that I am lucky and they will wish that they were at home in bed just like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. <sighs> Sarah Jane Hartwell. I'm not playing the silly game one second longer. I will see you downstairs in five minutes. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street. She couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down in her seat. Oh, Sarah, Miss Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. She seems friendly. Sarah led, she led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous on their first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. When they got to their classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. <clears> throat> class, <clears throat> class attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, Class, I would like you to meet your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. 
the end. Were you expecting that twist at the end? Hmm. So no matter how you're feeling right now, I hope you have a great night's sleep. And I hope if you do have any jitters, I hope that we can get rid of those jitters tomorrow and have the most fun day of growing our hearts and our brains and being a classroom full of money. So I'm going to get Annabelle. And now Annabelle and I are going to wish Parker, Ava, Alexia, Frederick, Mateo, Kelsey, Anastasia, Maya, Zane, Chase, Jacob, Aiza, Sophia, Mila, Julian, Marissa, Wyatt, Connor, <laughs> Willow, Sylvia, Savannah, Elsie, Landon, Ashton, Jack, Benji, and Stella. A wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bella won't, but I will. Have a good night, guys.